everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a hidden message card. So this has been a requested tutorial. Two ladies have requested this one, a lady called Sylvia and a lady called Jane. So thank you for sending you know, the requests for this and sorry you've had to wait so long because yeah, it just takes me a while to get through them and um, you know, things happen. So this is my take on it. Now I had a little look online and I found a tutorial from 10 years ago and it was a teacher actually showing you how to make one of these in the classroom. Um, but I have seen this style before. I'm sure I've done something similar in school or I've, I've, I know I've come across this before because I recognise the mechanism and I'm sure you will too. So it's a five by seven card. I've done mine with a belly band but there are other ways to fold this and I'll show you in a moment. But you basically remove the belly band and you open it up and you have this, okay? So you have all these panels, you know, it stands up nicely, it's like a bit of a concertina fold, but then the idea is, and this is why it's a hidden message, the one thing I would say is you wanna give this to someone who is gonna understand that they've gotta kinda of hunt for it, they've gotta move this card around. So you squeeze it all together and then you pull out this section and you have a whole hidden part. And this is where I would say to write your message. So I've left these blank. Okay, so again, if I just pull that open like so, squeeze it down, and then these kind of open to reveal a whole other section. It's really, really cool. Now you could also have it folded like this, and you could have it wrapped with some ribbon with a bow and pop it in an envelope like that. But the other cool thing is, on the back you have all of this section. Okay, I've just put some you know fun little um, ephemera and just anything really, but you could just keep it all plain. But there's an even more hidden section. And if you fold it flat, so there's where you've opened it. If you fold it in half this way, and then open this section, you have a whole nother area again. <laughs> so I think this would be really good for, you know, um, colleagues, you know, at work, because there's loads of spaces for people to write messages and you could really write some funny, um, just all sorts, you, you know, let your imagination go with that. It's, it's just really cool, but it's great for children, but it's also really good for adults as well. So again, you just close that one up and then open it all up again. So you've got one, two, three, four. I know some of you now are going to be watching this thinking, oh no, this is just way too hard. It is so simple. Honestly, you will not believe just how simple this is. And I will show you every step, but it, the, the longest part is, is choosing what you're going to have. The actual card to make, you can make this no, and I'm not lying, in like 10 minutes. It's so, so fast. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got everything cut for today's. So that was my other template there. So, and like I said, you can have it that way but I think I'm just gonna keep mine in the five by seven um, flat, you know, um, size like so. But again, you can see just how cool it looks. And then on the back, again, if you wanna do more there, do it that, um, which way was it, like that? And then like that. It's just really, really fun. I can't stop doing it. So anyway, so I'm using Pebbles Ink and I was given all these bits from um, a magazine for a magazine feature that I've done. So I've got all of this to use, which is great. So I've got the puffy stickers, the phrase ephemera, and the icon ephemera. I have just mixed all mine. You can see, actually no, did I keep, no, I have mixed it all. Oh, I think I'm gonna catch that one there. There's all phrases in there, which I will use. But there's just tons of bright, bold, fun, colorful pieces. So I'll be cutting them up. So I've gone and cut a piece of cardstock here. I'm gonna use that for my belly band. So this is a piece of 10 by seven, and along that 10 inch side, you just want, um, yeah, side, you just want to score it two and a half, five and seven and a half. Okay, and then fold and burnish all of the score lines. And then fold it in half like this, okay? And you're gonna score at, well, these score lines we're then gonna cut down. So if you'd rather do a pencil mark, you can, but you wanna do it at one and three quarters, three and a half, and five and a quarter. So you have four equal sections, okay? And it kind of, yeah, it should have gone through both sides, but you're just gonna keep it folded in half and you're just now gonna cut up those lines. So like I said, if you want to keep the, um, you know, use pencil lines instead, you can, but make sure you pinch it really, really well together. You don't want it kind of going, you know, when you cut through multiple pieces of paper and it starts to kind of all go off in one direction, just, you know, 
it's cardstock you're cutting through so it may want to budge so just keep keep them squeezed together okay that one and that one okay so now we can open it up and you will have two and a half uh, two and a half and then you'll have all of this in the middle and then you'll have another two and a half piece okay then you're going to need two pieces of whatever cardstock I've got white here so they're my mats and layers and these measure two and three eighths so they're just one eighth of an inch under the the width of these pieces by seven okay you want that full width and then it's up to you whether you want to go under first over and then under you may want to go under first and then over because each one will be the opposite to whatever one you do first so I'm going to do under over the next one under the third one and then over the last one so under the first over the second, under the third, so you finish with it over the bottom one. And push it right in, okay, and you want to make sure it's, you know, the perfect height of that card. And then this one, and this is what locks it together. This one, you'll do the opposite. So this time I'm going to go over the first one, okay. Under the second one. Over the third and then under the last one. It's not fiddly, you just, once you get them going, just slide it all down. And now that's all locked together. Then fold it back the other way and just burnish everything, just so it feels, you know, like it's going in the right direction. And now you can open it up and again. Now it's down to decorating. So I've got these panels here, which I've already popped my pattern paper on and these are gonna go on the front. So these pieces here, the white, is two so these are two so it's two and a quarter by six and three quarters and then the pattern paper is two by six and a half so you're going to want four pieces of each but your pattern paper you may want to vary so i've got the hip hip array on the inside and then on the front of the kind of gatefold i'm going to have this one here and then i'm going to have this lovely topper with my belly band on the front okay so i'm going to get those mats all stuck down first of all Next, I need to decorate all these sections here. So, you know, it's entirely up to you how you do this. The one thing I would say is have the hidden message because obviously, you know, they're going to open it up like this, you know, it displays nicely. But the hidden message is in this piece. So whatever you're going to, you know, write to them, I would have it within this section here. So I'm going to keep maybe two of these sections of the white. I'm going to keep them plain. So I've got room to actually write something. But I'm going to decorate all of these and all of this side here. I would say first of all decorate this and then move it so you know what you're working with because if you decorate here and then you've got all the space on the back as well you just might start to confuse yourself. So I would certainly do each side you know bit by bit which is what I'm going to do. So I've got lots of different papers from this collection and obviously it all ties in together. So then I'm going to cut some of these pieces here. So I would say if you want to cut any mats for any of these, you know, smaller sections, the white ones I'm just going to stamp or stick stickers onto. I'm actually only going to cut pattern paper for the to go over this kind of pinky paper. So they're two and a half wide. So I would do two and I don't know if I want to do a quarter inch border this time. Mind you though, one eight. No, I'm going to do I'm going to do two and a quarter by one and a half, okay? So I've done that one, I've just stamped a couple of images here and I can colour them later on. And I'm still going to add other bits here, probably just going to do some colourful shapes and bits and pieces. But now I'm going to fold out this middle section. These two I'm going to keep free for me to actually write something and I'm going to just decorate the same. So I'm going to cut some more pattern paper and just carry on and, and get it all finished really.
Okay, so I've done everything there and then I just need to do the belly band, but you open it up, you have this section and then obviously it all stands up, close it up and then you have this part here and I've got these empty to write my message. But then if you fold it in half this way, so and then you've got the back, which I've just decorated there, okay? But then if you fold it in half, so here's the front, if you fold it in half that way, you also have an a even more hidden message section and I've got this one here which says one year older and then you can write something again in that section there it's really fun I love this one I've done a few little doodles on it and um, I just think it's great so you could then have it kind of like that if they wanted to but then it all opens and takes you back to the beginning again so it's kind of a bit like a impossible card you know the never-ending cards those kind of things it's, it's just got a yeah just that kind of it's a bit of an optical illusion, I guess, because people look at it and they think, how is that just done that? And then how have I just done that? And then done that. So, yeah, it's it's clever. You've got to make it to get it. So now I've just got that one there. And then I've got this piece of one and a half by 12. But it doesn't have to be 12 as long as you can wrap it around. I mean, that's probably too long. So I'm going to end up trimming trimming that off. Mind you, though, I can just stick it over the top like that. It should be okay, actually. Down there. Like so. You don't want the belly band so tight that you can't get it off, so just make sure you can slide it off okay. And then I've got that nice big one there, so I'm just going to pop some glue through the middle. Slide it off just so I make sure I've got no glue, which I haven't. Okay, so there is the finished card. So just slide off the belly band, open it up, and you've got this, and then you've got that section there, and then you've got the back. But again, you can just put pattern paper on there if you want to. You also notice I changed these. I don't think I mentioned it. I wasn't happy with the the, or the yellowy colour. It just didn't work properly. But then also if you fold it in half that way, and I think this is the real hidden one, then you've got space there. I think it's a great one. And like, um, you could do like a, a nice little valentine's kind of thing or like um even like a proposal i don't know there's just so many fun ways like maybe um for your children to say that they're going to disneyland or something you could you know say where are we going and they're looking for ages going i don't know i don't know what to do i can't see anything and then they look you've got to fold it that way and then you get that completely hidden section i just think it's great it's really really fun it's really interactive i think it's a great one for children but also you know, for adults too, and then it just slides back in the belly band. Just make sure that you get your, you know, these pieces here, because obviously they are kind of loose. And uh, I think I've got it caught on that bit a little bit. Make sure I don't catch it on there. But yeah, there we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I think it's such a fun card. Can't wait to see your variations. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today, or consider subscribing so you get to see more. See you later. Bye.